is up everybody it is another beautiful beautiful Sunday here in Alice Springs today I've got night shift so I've got the the day to do the things that I want to do for once and make the most of this good weather so funnily enough I'm actually not gonna be outside but it does put you in a positive a positive mindset from the get-go you know um, I do like the rain I like it when it rains here but at the end of the day you know you can't go wrong with the bright blue sky every single day it just puts you puts you in a great space if you can harness it um, for for your goals that you want to achieve that day so it puts you in a good good positive mindset to start the day and crack on with what needs to be done got some amino energy as per usual We've got grape uh, again and I am off to do some cardio so um, I'd love to do cardio outside in fact I hate doing cardio inside but the fact is is that it's so hot here and even with sunscreen like it's just not good for your skin like it just you, you need a little bit for, for vitamin D but Alice Springs Sun you don't need a lot so I'm gonna do my cardio inside at Lassiter's um, they've also got free Wi-Fi so that is another bonus and that's another reason why I've, I've been doing it inside lately but yeah at, in the middle of the day like at one o'clock in the afternoon which is what it is now there's no way you should be outside doing cardio so um, yeah so we're just going to the gym um, weight I weighed in this morning at 89.5 kgs so a week ago I pretty much weighed in at the same amount no sorry a week ago I weighed in at 90.5 but a couple of days later I was down at 89.5 so for the, for the last five days I've been maintaining at around about 89.5 now I feel like my diet's been on point, man. I, there's been points where I've been hungry as fuck, you know, but I've just pushed through it. And because at the end of the day, if you want to get shredded and you want to get into that stubborn body fat that you've you've never got rid of before, um, you're gonna need to feel hungry. You're gonna need to feel shit at times. And so I've, you know, I've been like that in the last week, and and my my weight hasn't shifted. So that's interesting. Although I do feel like I've tightened up a little bit, and. You know, I'm, I'm on that brink now of getting, of looking, you know, nice and lean. Whereas before, it's basically that, that pocket of fat underneath your belly button. Um, that, and, and it goes all the way around your body, so in your lower back and everything. That piece of fat that no one can get rid of really changes a physique so much. So it makes your weight, it's basically all around your waist, it's all waist. So if you start losing that fat, I mean your waist starts coming in, your waist measure, measurement starts coming down, and then you really start getting that V-taper coming out and, and showing your physique. And I've never got to that point, even though I've competed. So I, I probably had no, no business being up there on stage, to be fair. But uh, I did it, got, got the monkey off my back, as they say and I'll be much more confident and more comfortable um, for it next time I do a show. Speaking of shows, I did mention I was going to do the South Australian INBA uh, Mr. Physique show. Well, it turns out that on that same weekend, there's another show in Melbourne on the, on the exact same day with the INBA. It's the Southern Cross Titles and it offers three pro cards to the top three in each division so I mean that would probably be the show that everyone would be gunning for but hell if you did I mean a third place gets you a pro card do I have a physique that could take third place at the Southern Cross titles not yet but <laughs> we'll see so if if anything that would be the show that I'm looking at with uh, the Southern Cross titles in Melbourne on the weekend of April 30th so that is a good goal to, to work towards 
and that's what I'll be gunning for. So we're about to go inside, get some cardio under the belt for the day. Started off right, started off 500 calories in the negative already, which is a fantastic feeling when you're trying to fucking diet, as you can imagine. So then after this, we'll go home, probably have a core uh, nutrition meal, which is around about 50 grams of protein, 25 grams of carbs, and about 10 grams of fat. Then after that, I'll probably have some oats with protein powder, which will be around about 50 grams of carbs, 50 grams of protein, 10 grams of fat. And then meal number three, which will be probably a pre-workout uh, meal, unless I can't wait and I just want to go back and train. But I definitely don't want to train with weights right now because I haven't eaten anything and it's, you know, it's, it's not worth it. When I'm cutting, I definitely, Sometimes I just wake up and I've, I've got the motivation and I just go and pump out a session but if I want to get the most out of every single weight training session at the moment I need some carbs in my system before I go and train otherwise I'm not going to get a pump you know I may get injured everything just feels stringy um, especially being natural you know you, you don't keep the fullness the fullness is, is it's extremely hard to get and unless I have a nice big cheat day my pumps aren't, you know, aren't anything to write home about. They're pretty shit. So, yeah, we're going to keep going. If I'm not under 12% under body fat right now, I'd be pretty unhappy. But I am under, under 90 kgs. So, you know, that is around about that 11, 12% body fat mark for me. Around about 90 kgs. So, anything under that is sort of getting into the the uh, single digit body fat percentages so once I start seeing 88 on the on the uh, scales I know I'm progressing and I know that's not far away so I just got to keep trusting the process keep doing the cardio keep training hard dieting and it's gonna happen so I don't need to compete for me to get a good physique I don't need to compete so if I don't feel like I'm ready for a competition by the time which is it's only nine weeks out then I'm not gonna compete so I'm actually man I'm feeling fucking tired today but I'm gonna do this let's do this got my amino energy got my headphones get myself into my own little world as some of you guys will know it's it's pretty sweet you put put your headphones on music up walk into the gym like an animal fucking kill it and the leaner you get the better you feel in the gym seriously so yeah I'm in a pretty pretty good space at the moment and hopefully it just continues all right everybody we are done with cardio that is an hour and five minutes in the books on the treadmill not my favorite but it's what you got to do around here and uh, I'm fucking hungry, eh? I'm starving. It's like one o'clock or two o'clock now. Um, and yeah, usually my cardio would probably be like 200, 300 calories, but I, I did, I think it was 600 calories. So my stomach is definitely grumbling right now and I need to go and have something to eat. So what I'm gonna do is show you guys exactly what I have and uh, get there in a minute because it's just over there. Actually, you know what guys, what I'm going to do first is wipe the sweat off my face, fuck it's hot. <sighs> you never get used to it, eh? I can't wait for winter. But what I'm going to do is use the pool that is right outside my door that I've never jumped in before. Because it's fucking hot. Oh, and they're building a gym as well in the complex, so. There it is. Alright guys, post workout we have one core meal being cooked right now and that is a holy meatballs meal which I'll tell you the macros. We've got one here. House made lean meatballs with whole grain pasta, 28 grams of carbs, 62 grams of protein, 
seven grams of fat. So you can't beat that and it's absolutely delicious. I love it. So we'll have one of those. Um, see how I feel after that. I'll probably have a couple of serves of oats with one serve of protein powder and that will be my pre-workout meal and then after that we'll be off to the gym. But before that cooks, I am going to officially test out my pool. better. So post workout whole grain pasta and meatballs. Body. It's about 3.30 in the afternoon. I haven't had my pre-workout meal yet. Not sure whether I'm going to have it or not because that meal uh, with the meatballs was quite filling. It, you know, um, So we've probably been, it's been about an hour and a half since I had that. And before I go to the gym, I'm actually going to go to the supermarket and pick up a few things. A few of my staple uh, foods that have been with me throughout this, this diet, other diets. Um, and they are I'm going to get some more frozen berries, some more oats. I'm going to get uh, some wheat bix, organic wheat bix, and just in case I want that for a carb source one day, for breakfast or pre-workout meal or whatever. Um, I'm going to get some wraps, some low-fat wraps. I like to wrap up any sort of protein with a sauce and salad in a wrap. It's delicious, low in calories, uh, high in protein. Um, yeah, that's a really nice meal. And uh, what else am I going to get? Egg whites, um, whole eggs, I'm going to get an avocado or two, I'm going to get some fruit, and some plums, bananas, um, what else? I'm not sure. I'm going to get some almond milk, uh, almond and cashew milk actually, because that is, it's actually lower in calories than almond milk, so it's fucking low. It's 35 calories per 250 mils. And for a, you know, for a nut milk, that is fucking low. So I'm going to stick with that for my protein shakes, for my oats and things like that. Um, it's much better than water, so that's what we're going to do. Also, I haven't been drinking diet sodas, diet drinks at all, which is pretty good for me. Um, I just haven't bought it, so I'll probably get a box of either Pepsi Max or, um, or Coke Zero or Diet Coke. So we'll see. See what one's cheapest, and I'll probably get that. Um, that's it. So the groceries are done. I got all those carb sources that I was talking about, plus um, lean meats. I got Greek yogurt. I got egg whites. I think I said that. Um, peanut butter. And so the lean meats that I got was turkey, turkey mince, um, chicken breast, turkey breast, and like two steaks. I don't really have steak too much. The the red meat that I have in my diet I get from those core meals, so I have beef and lamb. Um, 
and they're delicious so it doesn't you know I don't have to cook it and it's a good a good serving size so I do try and stick to white meats if I can so we're talking turkey most of the time chicken breast I've had way too much of so turkey's my go-to followed by probably steak to be fair so I eat red meat every day who really knows if it's how bad it's gonna be for me in the future um, vegan gains says I'm gonna die of, uh, of, of coronary disease and uh, heart disease and anyways enough of that um, I will be seeing you guys later on tonight after I finish my chest and shoulder session which I'm about to go and kill so we've got um, some more amino energy as a pre-workout and then following this I'm going to have the oats and protein powder meal and then I'm going to have another core meal which will probably be chicken meatballs uh, red curry sauce and basmati rice with green beans which is delicious and I can't wait to have it and I will be talking to you guys later what's going on guys Jake here again it's the next day I'm not sure exactly where I left you guys last time I'm pretty sure I was just about to go to the gym or something uh, which I did. So we went and did some chest yesterday. It was a pretty good workout. Um, from what I remember. I think I started with incline Smith Machine Press. Um, as you guys know, it's my go-to exercise at the moment. Really allows me to go nice and slow, contract the chest, and obviously target the upper area of the chest, which is, which is what I want to do. So we did uh, probably like eight or nine sets of that. Then I went over to, over to the decline uh, barbell press, uh, which I prefer over the flat um, because it, it takes a little bit of the pressure off my shoulders and also I can push a little bit more weight as well. So, you know, can't go wrong with that. So we had probably about five sets on that, um, pyramiding up to, I think I had 80 kgs um, and I did sets of seven to eight. This was obviously after pre-exhausting on the incline press, um, which I only used, I think, 25 kgs on each side for sets of 8 to 10. Following that, we went over and did some flies, as per usual, um, going from different pivots from up, going from uh, the bottom coming up to try and target this upper area, coming from the side coming around, just in general, just targeting the inner chest um, and the upper chest as well and then also some from the top coming down underneath to sort of target this this sort of up, um, bottom of the chest area you know you know what it is man flies from different angles target different parts of the chest um yeah for me i really do want to target the the bottom bottom part of the chest as you guys may know um naturally occurring gyno has been a problem for me since about the age of 13. Uh, now, I will make a few videos in the future about gyno, my, my, uh, my opinions, how it's affected me. Um, you know, it, it, it was fucked up being in high school with gyno. It was fucked up. But, uh, you know, I'll tell you all about that one uh, another day. So for today, I've actually just finished night shift. So um, last night, after training, I had a couple more meals. I actually had a meal at about 3 o'clock in the morning because I did night shift we do active nights we need to stay awake we can't actually go to sleep so um, four o'clock in the morning was my last meal it's about 9 30 now and I'm feeling you know quite hungry although I'm definitely uh, pretty keen to go smash some cardio so that's what I'm gonna do not outdoors I'm gonna go inside at Lassiter's casino I'm gonna go watch some YouTube take advantage of the free Wi-Fi and then following that I may jump on some weights and do a little bit of a, a um, arms workout because didn't hit triceps yesterday so pretty keen to hit those do some do some buys do some tries we're leaning out slowly but surely I won't show you right now it's a bit of a shit lighting out here so either way um, feeling good off to go smash some cardio I'm not going to eat before I go, but I will be having a post-workout meal, and I will show you guys what that is. We're nine weeks out, and we're getting it. All right, 
everybody we are back from the gym uh it's an hour's cardio as same as yesterday so that's good feeling good about that and also uh did some back so we did seated row lat pull down and bent over underhand grip barbell row so i did about 20 three 24 sets total about seven or eight sets per exercise um, really ripped it out my back's feeling nice and tight nice and pumped um, that was about half an hour ago and now we're going to get some post-workout nutrition in so i think first of all i'm going to have there's probably about 40 grams left of these i'm going to have one serve of oats and a scoop of mts cinegram which is delicious it's my go-to uh, protein powder at the moment. I wasn't having protein powder for weeks and weeks pretty much just because I ran out and I couldn't be bothered buying anymore but I decided to get some more and that's I'm probably just having yeah, one scoop a day uh, with a with oats and a shake with Greek yogurt um, usually with something one scoop a day all my the rest of my protein is coming from whole foods in meals such as these so I'm gonna go with holy meatballs again pasta and meatballs it's fucking delicious and then um, for a, another meal after that I'm gonna have old school which is Portuguese chicken breast and sweet potato mash this one the macros are ridiculous 48 grams of protein 16 grams of carbs and 3 grams of fat and like it's pretty decent sized meal so but to be honest guys I've blown out so much that I'm I'm happy where I'm at anyway to be fair I you know competing's not the be all and end all and so um, from now on, I'm just going to continue shredding and see how we go. So I'll see you guys at eight weeks out, uh, hopefully consistently under 90 kgs. And until then, guys, peace.